Hi everyone, this is Karthik. Welcome back. Day three for our code Java training. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with what we want to do in today's session. Before that, quick look at what we did in the first two sessions. Day one primarily was very simple. Uh, we've talked about how we want to set up our computer with Java and an Eclipse IDE to be able to start writing and running our Java programs. That is what we did in the first day. In our second day, we took it a little bit more deeper. We launched Eclipse. We created a workspace for ourselves. We went about creating a new Java project. And in that project, we created our first Java class. I believe we called it demo program dot Java. And this is what are those two programs that we did yesterday. Demo program dot Java and then demo program two dot Java. They primarily do the same thing if you look at it. However, we've kind of ex um, built this code first. Try to understand a lot about simple statements and logic. There's nothing much in this code. And then we copy pasted the same code and just deleted empty lines and the comments. So this is primarily how my code looks. Now going back to the document, we spoke about how we want to do execution. Once we hit the run, let me split screens for a while. When we hit run the program, what happens is that code gets executed one line at a time and what does java ignore are the blank lines and the comments so if you look at the first program that we wrote out here i see there are blank lines so java does not bother about it why do we use so that it is visually easy for us instead of seeing one large clumsy set of code you want to break it down like paras that we do within our English language. How about comments? Comments are one of the very interesting features that's built into any programming language. They primarily serve a couple of things, team. One, if I want to put a note in English, I have the chance to do it. So I can write whatever I want as a comment into it, either about the code that I'm writing or how to use this code or implement that code or maybe some changes I made to the code. Some information about my code that I want to keep in it in the program, but not necessarily execute it. That becomes my comments. All right. What we really look at executing are the executable lines of code. The actual lines of code where execution happens. In this, we spoke very briefly about the block of code in Java. It starts with the curl brackets and ends with the curl brackets. So whenever you search for the curl brackets in your Java program, you will look at a specific structure coming along. So for example, if I take my mouse and click close to the first starting curl brackets, it tells me the corresponding closing bracket. And team, as you all go along, we all go along in our learning, I want you to become very smart about understanding a few simple things. For example, this is related with this curl brackets. How about this curl bracket? It is hopefully or looks like visually linked here. In a code where 23 lines are there, it is pretty easy. But if it goes to 2000 lines, it becomes very tough for us to see which is the corresponding ones. They work as pairs teams. So for every open, there's a corresponding close of that block. The best way that uh, we get to do is by using Eclipse IDE's ability to help us with it. How? Click near the curl brackets. It will tell you the corresponding closed one. How about this here? It should now highlight line number 21. And team, while I'm speaking and I'm talking about, I want you to focus on this. The communication where I'm saying which line number, how, and so on. All right. Repeat the sessions if need be. Now, 
here is the starting and here is the ending. Similarly, if I go to the end of the block, it will tell me where it started. Why is it critical? As we go along in the next few sessions, you will start to understand them more and more. Now, we said that, okay, blocks of code in Java, there's a starting and there's an ending. Anything within that is considered one block. How about demo program 2.java? We have one main block starting from line 1 all the way to line 9. Another one from line 2 to line 8. Okay. We have not yet come to discuss about public class or static or void and all these things. We will get to them as and when we progress into our training. We also discuss a couple of things, team. Syntax errors and runtime error. I only introduced it to you. You have not really encountered too many of them so far. We will encounter a lot of them. The way I measure a successful programmer is based on how many times they have overcome runtime and syntax errors and solved them. And each time they kept solving, they are avoiding to repeat the same or a similar mistake that may cause an error next time. Okay. And team, these are not defects. Please understand this. The point nine and 10 syntax and runtime errors are not defects. So these are things that are visible to the developer. A developer can see by himself or herself that there's a problem in my program and I need to fix it before it can run smoothly. After clearing these errors and the programming is running well, then comes the QA and automation engineers to try and further find defects in it. All right. The few more things that we've kind of focused on team is the fact that Java is case sensitive. You need to name your class exactly as the name of your program. So see demo program dot Java. Here is demo program demo program two dot Java. Here is demo program two. I cannot change it to demo program three audience. Everyone tell me if I change it to demo program three, what will happen? On my line one, if I change this number two that I highlighted to three, what will happen? What will I see? I would see something happening in my Eclipse ID. What will that be team? And meanwhile, I'm going to talk about what we'll talk and do in day three. How Java emulates real life. Or any programming language. <clears throat> what are variables and parameters? parameters. Okay. Working with Java variables types of variables maybe we'll get into a conditional java oopsie, java statement these are things that i wanted to cover uh, primarily in today's session team we will be talking at introducing not mastering by the end of the entire 10 days team you'll have the total understanding all the types of variables getting better and better at it okay Right now, we're going to start to touch upon and understand the key reasons why they have come into existence. So what was my question? When I change this to demo program three on my screen, what would happen? Yes, we would get an error team. It would show us a runtime error or it would show us a syntax error. It would show us a syntax error. Why? Because it is telling us right away with the red underline and a red cross on line number one that there is some problem here. Okay. Eclipse has a phenomenal feature that you've not seen yet, team, where you take your mouse over and it'll tell you what to do. I'm not doing that yet. We will come to this feature slowly. But right now, if I save it, you'll notice that it has got a red cross everywhere. And the reason is Java does not like what you did. It basically is saying there is a problem. You have a class with this name. Let it be the same as the file name. It cannot be different. 
So I change it back and save it, then my syntax error disappears. Be very cautious about these subtle things. The only way you will master this is not by awareness only team. It is by awareness and then applying it into practice. All right, now let's talk about a new program. Okay, so I'm not going to call this as a demo program two, I or three. Let's call it something else. Let's talk about variables. In my first Java project, okay, I have my source folder like we created yesterday. We kept something called as a default package. It doesn't have any name. We'll talk about packages as we go along. And we have two programs in it. And where are these programs located, team? They would be there in our Windows Explorer. If I need to find this program on where it is on my local machine, I can right click on it. Go to, oopsie. Right click, go all the way to properties and click on this icon here. So it shows us in our Windows or System Explorer. Um, so once you open it, you will see it's got maintained the same structure. We have JLT Java Live Training April 2019. Under that, that's a workspace. Under that is a first Java project. We have a source folder under it. If you go back, a few more files that we're not looking at right now, but SRC is our main folder. In that, we have demo program.java and demo program2.java. This is where these files are stored, team. All right. Now, let's go and look at creating one more new java class and why are we going to do that so on my source folder i'm right clicking again and saying new class which is nothing but creating a new java class team let's give it another name i'm going to talk about this as java variables one okay the use of the default package is discouraged there is a lot that comes with things like style of programming and that basically talks about applying the best industry practices into your coding style this is a very important area team we will touch upon this as we keep going right from how we do naming conventions all the way to organizing your project in a um, organizing how do we name it how do we organize things in such a way that it becomes easily collaborative in today's world where it is easy for us to go and talk about um what are the benefits that uh, i bring in to an it team when i'm a developer okay so let's give it a name java variables one I'm going to click on this public static void main and say finish. The other thing that you will note, team, how do I put this as bullet points? Let me do this. Main method is mandatory in Java. It is the starting point of our execution. I'm writing this as a statement, as a theory. I will explain to you, team. The second line that you will see in any of our programs, the public static void main, is what Java recognizes as, hey, this is the main program. Everything else will start from here. And it becomes mandatory that every Java program must have a main method. This is called a main method team, okay? And sometimes we just don't write it like main like this. We usually put it with open and close brackets. When we get to functions and oops, we will talk a lot about public, static, void, what are these arguments and so on, all right? 
Now let's say finish and get this program. Here is how by default it gives me every time team. So what I will do is I'm going to reduce all those unnecessary lines that come by default. This is my total base code as of now. Let's keep this aside for a minute and I'm going to take up one more uh, notepad to talk about something that we will do. The whole focus of when Java started coming to the market early 1990s team is how to make it more real life should be able to understand how things work around us humans and um, our environment. So just look at this statement as a or a concept very simply team. Earlier programmings were used just to do numbers or algorithms or just to say that hey I want a specific calculation being done more as more, more math centric or science centric. It was not really life centric and then came the fact that hey the whole world is built around objects and that came the first concept saying let us consider everything to be an object let's name a few objects a car is an object your smartphone or your cell is an object your book is an object your pen is an object a human also from a java's perspective will be considered an object and so on everything that they want to do they talk about let's think about it first as an object what is an object and how to understand an object that became the top question for java now i need to understand how this object can be spoke about Let's talk about something. Let us say that um, I have a simple, what do I talk about? Team? Let's take a pencil. I'll try and do my worst drawing. Not try and, first, try and do my best, but okay. Let's assume this is a long pencil team, all right? And it's got a tip. It's got a certain color on it. I don't know. I'm just shading it uh, more for our visibility purpose. And let's say it's got some name here. That was supposed to be XYZ team. So now here is an object in our real life. Yes or no? Correct. Now, when Java wants to look at it, how does it understand? So before Java can think about it, let's talk about how does a human look at a pencil? It could be an adult or a kid in this matter. But when we look at it, how do we analyze it? Team? Describe a pencil to me, everyone. Can you all help me describe a pencil? This is called, how do we go about describing an object? How do we describe a pencil? Tell me. What do we take as humans to describe a pencil team? All right, this is human. Perfect, amazing team. I'm really getting a lot of responses now. Yes, excellent. So when we look at uh, as humans, beat our own kids or what we look at as adults, what do we look at? We look at 
yes, let's talk about writing a different color. Um, can I use orange maybe? And I need to be here. Sorry, taking a little time. So I need to know the color, right, of that. So a color will describe it. There could be a brand of it. Yes, that's true. It could be having a size like a certain size to it. It could also have the thickness of the tip, right team? And what else is there? It's vertical long object with LED inside. So has it got any additional things? I don't know. Um, it's got a length, color, thickness, and so on. Shape, okay. So we have color, we have a brand, like the make of it. We have, uh, what was esteem? Size, is it? And T was thickness, right? Perfect. Now, as humans, this is what we take to recognize team. The biggest thing that Java tried to do is try and act like a human. Okay, color. Now it will say that I want to identify pencil also using color. What are the different kinds of colors that are there? Let us say in a simple matter to keep things realistic. There are seven colors. We're not using too many. One second team. Sorry, team. So all the way from violet to WebGR, right? Red. Let us say the spectrum colors. This is what Java is saying. I will recognize. Now, brand. So in brand, it recognizes, let us say, I know uh, five different brands, the makes or models of these pencils. Size, it says, I know only three sizes. Like what? It'll say I know short, medium, or long. Okay. Thickness, the same thing. Either I'll say it is uh, thick or thin, right? So thick will be TK, thin will be, let's say, TN. These are the choices that we have. What Java did is very simple, team. It said, let me try and capture this information within my program. These become the driving inputs to how a pencil will look and perform team. Now, depending on the color, the brand, the size, not necessarily size, but sometimes size and thickness, the way we write and what we write changes, correct team? So Java has recognized that, wow, if I change certain things here, I will get different outputs each time. That is brilliant. That is an example of a pencil where we're saying it can be described using certain properties that can be used to identify them or to describe it. We'll talk about something called as properties very, very actively. So for an object to be identified or recognized, it wants certain properties. In this case, what are those properties? Color, brand, size, thickness. And these properties have certain values. And those values are specific to that property. Okay. Now, let's talk about a different object in a similar fashion. Everyone got this picture? Now, let's draw something similar. Okay. Let's go with. Be a gray. <clears throat> um, back to again, we have our object. All right. I have my Java code or Java, how it looks at. 
and a human how do we look at an object let us talk about another vehicle t another object let's talk about a simple car okay it's going to be tough for me to draw a car let me try my level best not bad right okay i got something here i got something here i got two wheels here okay there you go so now here's a car how do we humans recognize a car using what properties that we were talking about so as we go about analyzing different types of objects have different properties does a car have a color sure does it have a brand more like a make does it have a model yes does it have a thickness or thin no maybe a height maybe a weight maybe uh, you know engine a cylind number of cylinders on it and so on team there are so many other features that go about building a car so the first object that we took which was a pencil all right and the second object that we took a car what is the difference team so the number of properties are different all right and there are various properties it is not the same if there's an x here there may be a y for a pen and so on let's talk about a human also as an object what would a human have a name a email maybe you can use height you can use gender you can use nationality you can use dna you can use phone number to be able to identify or interact with a human the whole point what java is trying to do is our whole world is built around concepts like a car a pen a pencil a human a smartphone and so on with this in mind it said let's build something where we are able to interact with each of them and then came how do i recognize this concepts within my program so let's talk about writing a program that we take some kind of properties like these and put them into it okay a last picture team regarding very similar thing actually i can stay in here maybe change it to red and show you now we were talking about the car right everyone now a car will perform correct what does a car do a car drives around of course you need a driver and let's it's a self driven car and that car is being driven based on certain parameters like what depending on the make model the cylinders the road conditions the fuel type we put in the number amount of acceleration what gear you are in what is the engine oil what kind of uh, horsepower it has what torque it is every fact decides as to how the car will drive do you see the complexity team for a pencil luckily there are only four to five big factors as to how that pencil will perform for a human if you go to a health test for example you are analyzed on various aspects and that becomes your parameters so all these concepts are basically dri getting driven around one thing team how do we first identify identifying objects and then be able to work with them that is what java is now telling now i know how to describe it their properties they can do certain things imagine there is a cell phone lying somewhere team if you want the cell phone why would you need a cell phone you want to do something with it correct so the whole action that is to be taken is the main thing if a cell phone is lying by itself forever in a showroom has it ever been touched or used never but once it comes to usage you want it to do certain things and that actions that are taken actions and methods performed on these objects 
become the building blocks. Okay. We have not yet got into the concept of oops. What is oops as an object? <laughs> Sorry. Oriented programming system. Correct? I think yeah, that should be what it is. Object oriented programming system. So the whole point is very simple. If I'm looking at Java trying to emulate or look at everything in the world as objects and we orient our programming around that approach, we calling it as oops. All right. Now for oops to start to work, the first thing that we need are something called as variables. Team. What are variables and what will they do to us? Let us talk about a Java statement. So the first thing I'll do is a print statement. Yesterday we saw system.out.println is what you need to write each time. And then I will say start of my program. And why is there a red line on line number three? Before we take the help of Eclipse ID to answer, let us understand why is it there. And this will tell us something about a Java statement and how we need to write the correct Java statement. Remember, team, Java is a very, very strict programming language. It will discipline you significantly. The reason is every statement in Java in Java must end in a semicolon. And that is this. So if I don't put a semi semicomma or semicolon at the end of my statement, Java does not know that the statement has ended. That is the only recognition for it. So it needs to have that semicolon. Team, so far I've not used any of the inbuilt Eclipse IDE guide or help. I'm just talking about the concepts. Now, if it, this is my start of my program, I will also have my end of my program somewhere. Right? So I've copied that and I say, this is my end of my program. So anything I will do will be between here. Let me increase the number of lines now. Now let's talk about how we go about I want to work with a pencil to begin with, simple pencil. So I will say that a pencil has a name. I'll just say pen one. Okay. If I want to say that pen one is my pencil, I want to be able to put something into it. And this is what will create it for us. My pencil. Now I'll say pen one color equals green then i'll say pen one um, size equals three all right now what is it that i'm trying to do Tim? very simple i am trying to build a small table where I will describe the objects and put it up like this. So every object I'm saying has a property, correct? Like the color, the size, the name of it that I call it, let us say. And then there's a value to it. So if you take a simple Excel sheet, you can put it as a column and row and say this is green color, size is three like big and I gave it my pen as the name all right your information is being stored in such a fashion maybe in an excel sheet if i need to store the same within a program in java there are three things that i'll do it is called declaring a variable initializing a variable and then putting it to use all right so with variables you need to do these three things where are we what are variables hold 
wants information about any object or data that is what it does now working with variables you first do something called as declaration then we do initialization and then we start using the variable or applying it what is a declaration team now this is where java becomes very very specific okay so let us say same objects we were talking about right i'll say this is property and this is a value right so we said color we said brand we said size we said uh, thickness right and there are different values that you can provide to the same now color i will say is green okay brand is again a name i let me say xyz size let us say is a number from 1 to 4 and i'm saying it is 3 thickness is again a number from 1 to 5 and i'll say it is 4 now the way java does team is it becomes very very specific about let's talk about it here java is highly specific about memory usage all right now you'll understand team. all of you have been exposed or use a smartphone correct if you download too many pictures or videos or applications you will lose memory on your smartphone be it a 16 gb 32 gb 64 gb it tends to get acquired you take pictures you take videos that's what happens the whole effort for java is to use less system pc or device memory and run as fast as possible okay and one more statement using fewest resources that is the whole point team let us assume this way java is like a ferrari now you drive it i drive it or an f1 racer drives it the car will start to look different altogether the way it does why because of the object is the same but the amount the kind of inputs that we're putting acceleration and so on would be quite different so the whole point is if you have a ferrari how would you want to drive it if you have a regular toyota how would you want to drive it a computer looks at every portion around the same area team so for it it says that okay this type memory usage okay now what it says is the color is actually a text a brand is also a text a size is a number a thickness is a number in a memory usage perspective it says that i may need more uh, memory for this i may need maybe more memory even for this here very small memory is required for a small number and the same out here now this is what this is all about a simple pencil right now if i do the same for let us say a different object altogether a human then we don't maybe not a color i will say a gender we will say height maybe email weight dna etc correct now as you go along you will see that things will change gender could be just male or female so this is a very small option and that could be low memory so how does this memory gets utilized depending on the type of information that is being stored team that becomes very critical from the programming perspective 
the declaration part is all about trying to say that if you want to talk about variables in java remember the statements what i'm saying team then do note that it uses memory if it uses memory then you need to declare it first only then i let you use it so what does this declaration mean i'm trying to put some values in it and this basically is called initialization where putting initial slash first values within the variables okay team there are a lot of different ways of writing programs for example i can write a comment out here and it is still allowed i can have one more statement like this right after it and it will still allow and so on so do not try and play around as to does java do this or do that and so on not yet first only learn the ones that i'm showing don't over expose yourself not at least for the first six seven days with the team so this is all about a project working with a pencil so i'll put it up here this is my first statement that says that my program is starting here. Here is where I'm initializing. But before I initialize, I need to declare my variables. What is declaring a variable? Assigning a type to it so as to allocate memory space accordingly and this concept team we're gonna uh, keep digging into it every day from day four so this is just an introduction to that set there are different types of variables team let me start with some of the most important basic ones the first one is called string okay string basically says that anything that i call a string contains text alpha alpha numeric and symbols other symbols like you know your percentile your dollar symbol minus positive slash everything all that is put into that name called pen one now as soon as java looks at this statement called string pen one what it does is this team it takes a little memory space in your system it will give it the name pen one but it will have no value out here okay this is called just declaring it but at this time java does know the fact that hey i know this is containing a string now what is a string team let me take examples okay of string string like i said alphanumeric anything within double quotes is considered a string okay now let me take this put it here and ask you a few questions looking at this excel so right from line number 20 okay so i will write something tell me if it is a string or a not okay actually let me write it in this here itself now is this a string is this a string oops is this a string is this a string okay any word that's anything that you put within double quotes is considered a string thing period it can start with uppercase it can have more than one word it can have spaces in between it can make sense as a word 
it doesn't have to make sense as a word does not matter it is a string how about kk1 is that a string yes or no yes it is a string why because it is still inside double quotes how about kk dollar still a string how about still a string how about one or two or three not a string why there are no double quotes around it how about one two three this is no string strings yes strings so what is the one and only foremost decision factor if it is a string or not team the double quotes around it got it team everyone with me team i'm going to end up in the next two minutes and then we'll continue um i think it's tomorrow or monday next session so now i have declared a variable called pen one did you notice that line 11 that error disappeared if i comment line 8 now see what will happen back to line 11 that error came back why i cannot assign a value unless i know what type it is so pen 1 is string and i am putting the value my pencil into it how about pen 1 color string Oops. pen 1 color see again semicolon to end that statement and now this disappeared now how about string pen one size now why did not the error on line 15 disappear yet team why did it not disappear cause it is not inside quotes if i put this number three inside the quote is it then accepted absolutely yes so we have declared variables initialized it now we will use the variables how i will say simply writing i'll show you the shortcut tomorrow team pen name is plus pen one this is a statement little different from what you saw earlier pen color is pen one color pen size is pen one size so here are my three stages for my variables team declaration initialization putting some values into it and then using it now when i execute this code any errors will show up here team syntax error no red lines here no red marks here so looks good let me erase this drawing and execute this and now i get my information saying that start of my program end of my program and here is my core information correct i'm going to do something a little bit more comfortable so that it is visually easy for me to see. I'm just going to put some breakpoints, breakers like this. Just helps me to um, there you go. And I'm going to rerun now. So it will ask me to save it. And I see pen name is so and so, and the color is there, the size is there. This is my start of my program and end of my program. Now, here is the beauty of the variables team it does not have to be constant. I can change them again, and I'll say, This is your pencil, and this is, let us say, blue, and the pen size is four now. And if I just copy and print the same statements now out here, what would happen? The first time it'll come to line 13, 14, 15, 
it will see that there is a values cor correctly corresponding it will put that second time i've changed the value and if i print it again it should give me the new values what did i do by using this plus sign here why is this in blue and this portion in dark brown or black why, what is it that i've done a concept called concatenation okay which we will cover tomorrow it is concatenation let's talk about concatenation okay or joining of strings now let's execute this save this and execute let's look at all i'm interested to see is my print statements coming out in here in my console out here team start of my program end of my program my pencil green three your pencil blue four and i am able to now slowly start storing and using information all right Team, that's it from my side from today. Uh, sorry, for today. We will continue day four on Monday. And I want you all to practice to wherever we are with these videos. The team has shared the videos on YouTube. And we've also placed them in our channel. So if you go to youtube.com slash learn, you will see all the latest videos out there. I would be uh, seeing you all on Monday for the day four. Same link. Everything is going to be the same one quick poll question team for you all before i let you go very important just a yes or no answer did you execute your first program first java program as part of this training what i mean to say is if you've executed a java program earlier in your career or something i'm not worried about it have you executed a java program after day two i showed how to install how to write a simple statement Team, everyone, please vote in before you sign out for the day. And I'll see you back on Monday. Practice and come to this extent. We'll take it from there. I'm really expecting more positive answers on this poll. But if it is not, we have a good weekend to uh, get better on it, everyone. Hands-on practice, very critical. Day four onwards, things will be much more interactive. We'll go into more programming. Please put your votes in the screen, not on the chat team. Any other questions so far? We have not yet gone through variables completely. We just start to introduce them and organize things. Once I start um, going to day four, day five, you'll see how. Uh, things will shape we have to get to conditional java statements thing this is where things will be fun okay so we have not covered this this go into the next day any question so far okay i'm gonna close. i've got only 54 percent polls why is it team can i get polls votes from everyone let me see who's attentive and not in the live audience There are, yeah, this couple of you, Sandhya Chamu, not attentive, but everyone else is. Can I get everyone to just say yes or no? Okay, wow, this one question that came up, technical question, I'm getting exit code 13 when trying to install Eclipse IDE. I don't even know what that code 13 is. But Pragati, why don't you so again, team, how do you, uh, so if I were you, just do me a favor. Screenshot will be awesome, okay? And some kind of a background of your OS, what is it that you've done? And then maybe we can do a screen share too and find it out. I need the exact error message, team, and then it will become easy for me, all right? So, Pragati, this is a screenshot with an exact error message. And Venkat, you're there, right? Can you now go about creating that Skype group where all these participants can start interacting on learning yeah, sure. more and so on? Yeah, sure, Kathy. Thank you, Venkat. And no other questions. Let me see if the poll is closed. 
I'm closing the poll team. Everyone has answered. And what do you think will be the response, everyone? The good part is there. So two thirds of you have tried it. One third not yet. So one third get onto it. Very simple. Few programs. Go back to seeing the videos and do it. Once again, I will not share the script and notes right away. I want you to look at the video. Look at how I'm writing it and you must write it at your end in the same repetitive fashion till we get comfortable. Don't try anything else. If I send the code to you, you will copy paste and try and execute. I don't want you to do that. Team. All right, everyone. Great. I'll see you back for day four Java next week then. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Bye now. Bye all.